Hello and thank you for joining me for this session on branding the Office 365 login experience. A common request we hear from our clients is to apply their branding to the Office 365 login screen. As of this recording, there are many scenarios where this is possible and we're going to walk through the user experience when logging into the Office 365 portal, webmail, and SharePoint. I'll start by navigating to the Office 365 portal. Since the URL to the portal does not specify a tenant, we see the vanilla login screen. It's not until after we enter in the username and tab off the field that the page is refreshed and the branded login screen is displayed. There are three areas that can be configured for branding on this login screen. The first Microsoft calls the sign in illustration. The second is the banner logo and the last is the sign in page text. We'll talk more about each of these later, but for now, just note those are the three areas that you can configure. Next, I'll navigate to webmail. You notice that I specify the tenant in the URL, so the custom branding is displayed. A more likely scenario for clients is to have a C name pointing to the Office 365 webmail, and here the same user experience would hold true and they would see the same branded login screen. The last scenario that I'm going to walk through is SharePoint. The URL for SharePoint starts with the tenant name and then SharePoint.com. However, when the user is presented with a login screen, it's actually the vanilla login screen. Right now, as of this recording, Microsoft does not support branding the SharePoint login screen. It is something that they have on the feature roadmap and should be coming in the near future. For now, logging into SharePoint is a very similar experience to that of logging into the portal. It's not until after you enter in the username and tab off the field that the page is refreshed and the user sees the branded screen. So now that we understand the different user scenarios, let's see what's involved in making this happen. To enable branding of the Office 365 login experience, a subscription to Azure Active Directory Premium is required, and this is an additional fee on top of the Office 365 subscription itself. I'm logged into the Azure portal, and I've highlighted the directory associated with my Office 365 tenant. So if I click on that directory, it'll bring me to the dashboard, and I'll click on Configure. And there's a section here for customized branding. If I click on that, I'm brought to a page that lets me edit the existing branding settings or add new branding. I'm going to edit the existing one. And here's where we can configure those different sections that we talked about. We talked about the banner logo, the sign in page text, and the page illustration. The tile logo is an image you can upload. that in the future will let you replace the generic organizational accounts tile that Microsoft provides you. As of now, this is just a placeholder and in the future you can use it. You can also choose a background color for the sign-in page. If you didn't upload an illustration, the background color would be displayed or if your illustration was transparent, then the background color would be displayed. So this concludes our walkthrough of branding the Office 365 login experience. Hopefully this has provided you with insight into a better user experience when logging into Office 365.